Firmly modified timber is timber that's essentially been cooked in a specialised kiln. The kiln uses heat and steam to cook the timber. This is the chemical free process that's designed to change the timber at a cellular level. Treating the timber like this creates a natural chemical reaction in the ligands and hemicelluloses in the timber. These organic compounds undergo a transformation process that enables the timber to become incredibly durable and stable. Timber that is not thermally modified tends to absorb more moisture, which makes it more prone to cupping and warping when used in exterior environments. This process enhances the timber's natural characteristics, durability and stability, which makes it a really good timber for our products. The first benefit of thermally modified timber is its durability. During the process of cooking the timber, the internal moisture content is reduced and some of the organic properties of the timber are removed. This makes it incredibly resistant to insects, fungus and decay. So insects and fungus will stay away from the timber for an extended period of time. This can be extended indefinitely with the use of coatings such as Q-Tech. So we can only speak on the species and the grade that we choose here at Morlock for our products, uh, but the distinctive grains, colours and the boldness of knots and character and texture that come from these thermally modified timber is amazing. So another essential benefit we have with thermally modified timber is consistent and even weathering. This is once again relating back to the removal of organic properties from the timber and as the relationship with moisture has changed, you are able to achieve an even weathering pattern. So it will weather off to an even silvery grey patina. Uh, is of course dependent on the external elements. So what are the thermally modified timber species we offer at Mortlock? The first species we offer in our thermally modified product range is tulip wood. As you can see here, it has a really strong, bold, brown and chocolatey tones that have been brought out thanks to the thermal modification process. So the second timber we offer in our thermally modified product range is Malvik. So this is an exotic timber that is native to Western Central Africa. So before Malvik has undergone this thermal modification process, it starts off at a creamy white to yellow color. After being treated at extremely high temperatures during this process, its color palette shifts to darker, more luxurious browns, but not as dark as tulip wood. This type of thermally modified timber that we offer is a really popular alternative to Western Red Cedar. So the third thermally modified product we offer at Morlock Timber is Vakoa. This is a Nordic uh, pine species um, and it has very distinctive knots um, and patterns on the wood. So Vakoa is produced in Europe and it falls under our PEFC chain of custody certification. Once it's been thermally modified, this timber becomes extremely durable and is a really popular option for exterior cladding. When it goes through the thermal modification process, all those knots and character of the timber are really accentuated and it really brings out uh, the characteristics of the timber. So burnt ash is one of our most popular thermally modified timber products. So because of its relatively high stability and relatively low density, Burnt ash is an amazing option with our shishugi band finish. When we chart all four sides of the timber, we're getting an amazing crackle and we're getting able to get a nice, deep and even char on burnt ash uh, that is quite difficult to get on certain Australian hardwoods. So you can use thermally modified timber internally and externally on your projects. Because it's very durable and maintains its shape, Thermally modified timber is great for using for external cladding, battens and screening. And that brings into how you would like to maintain your timber, whether you want to let it weather off to an even silver grey patina, or you want to keep up maintenance to achieve a certain look. So you can really transform a space with thermally modified timber. Uh, the main draw we get for specifying thermally modified timber for internal applications is the aesthetic appeal. So we find it more lock. For internal applications, thermally modified timber works really well with our trim plank tongue and groove cladding, uh, our pro plank click and battens, and our satin plank, which is our interior timber lining. Satin plank works really well with thermally modified timber. 
products. This is because thermally modified timber is already lightweight and durable and allows for a lot of different finishes to be applied to them. Uh, also, our Saturn plate range has a lot of customizable profiles. Um, so you can bring out your colors, you can bring out your shapes, and you can bring out your uh, different grain patterns. And all of our internal, internal and external products are either pre-coated or pre-finished at our factories. When it comes to thermally modified timber and its finishing, standing, and maintaining, it's gonna vary from project to project. So as we touched on before, thermally modified timber does not flake, warp, or cup. And because we have different climate zones in Australia, from west coast to east coast, thermally modified products for external projects is very popular for Australian architects. However, this is often determined on where the timber is installed, how it has been treated, and the level of maintenance thermally modified timber gets.